Sup my dudes, today I'm going to talk to you about Andy from Undead Unluck, he got added to the game, but before I do, is there nothing for you to play on Roblox? Well good news, Anime Crossover Defense is a game I'm really excited for that's coming out on May 10th. This game's got one of the best summoning animations I've ever seen, as well as really cool systems like the artifact feature and double upgrades. Make sure to check the pinned comment for a discord link and go ahead and join. So this is Andy's page, and thank you guys for watching that. Uh, you're going to see that in all my videos coming up for quite a while until the game releases. I want that game to do really good, so I'm going to be pushing that game really, really hard. Um, basically, this is Andy's page. You'll notice something funny about Andy if you look at his speed. Andy's a really, really hidden OP unit. It's another Yato situation. And they can go in the same category of Bloody Hunt if you manage to get it. But here you have Immortal, Swordmaster, Precision, Love Pressure, Team Force, Bloody Hunt, Hero, Unyielding Spirit, Swift, and Deadly. Uh, I have him on 115, 109, 94, so he's going to look pretty good. Um, and I'm bringing him with DFL, Flower Magician, and Naruto for buffs. So let's go ahead, let's get into the showcase. This is a unit that's going to be really, really, really good for newer players. It's going to be super solid for... Um, new players to go ahead and basically be able to beat the game it's a very it's a unit very similar to yato yato still has better dps overall but andy actually gets better as he upgrades where yato really doesn't yato kind of peaks out at upgrade three i think um andy gets better as he upgrades so that's definitely a thing i do think yato is still better but andy has better circles so it's like give and take some you know um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and see how high we can get Andy and how good Andy is all in all. But you guys can see his range and his very small circle to start. He starts off at 1.35 SPA and he gets even lower as you get higher. And that's because we have Dog Captain as lead. Dog Captain is a very crack lead if you guys ever run an Immortal team. Really, really good. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's see those animations and see exactly what he's cooking with. It's just, just a gunshot. Just pew, pew. Yeah, it's just a funny little gunshot. That's funny. Next up is Crimson Crescent Moon. You can see he gets to a 0 0.9 SPA right now. That's 16k attack stat with no buffers. Um, Crimson Crescent Moon. What is this? Oh, okay. So it's like a blood slice. I got you. You can see this gets to a 2.7 SPA at 51k attack stat with no buffers. And then lastly, we're on his... Oh, I like that. The little flying using his cutoff legs. Yeah, look. <laughs> and it's just him shooting blood. So next up, let's go ahead and see how many he can place. One, two, three, four, five. Five placements. So if I remember right, Yato is only a three placement. So this is definitely something he's better than Yato at. Uh, we're going to go ahead and max out a Dark Flame Lover. As well as put him on Stolp. Go ahead, put him on stop. Then we're going to put down a Naruto. Put down this. And we're just going to see exactly how crazy we can get him at all levels. Because he's going to be a unit that you use pretty much through every upgrade. He's going to get better as he upgrades, obviously. It's not going to be like Yato where he gets to like upgrade 3 and then he peaks out in DPS. I uh, know he does get better as he upgrades throughout. And I'll show you guys what I mean. But he is a very, very strong unit. So, first things first, you guys can see with all buffs applied, he's on a 17.8k attack stat. SPA is 1.35. As he upgrades, his attack stat goes down 37.22k. And then he gets up to a 56.65k attack on a 0 0.9 uh, SPA at the third upgrade. Pretty damn good in my opinion. And then as we do keep going, you can see 86k, 125k. And then 173k and a 2.7 SPA. So pretty good in that regard as well. The circle does get bigger, so he's able to hit more. And then final circle, he's 232k, uh, 300k at max on a 5 SPA. So at max, he is doing about 60k DPS. And I believe versus his 56k DPS. And then he's like, it's like 56 on the third upgrade. 58k DPS on the uh, fourth. He's actually doing a little bit more than 56 because the 0 0.9 SPA. But it's about 58k on the sixth upgrade. And then on the eighth upgrade, he's at uh, 60k DPS. So his DPS does get gradually better as he goes on. But it's roughly the exact same throughout the entire time. Very, very balanced unit all in all. 
uh, nothing super super insane ideally you're going to want to keep him around this upgrade right here at 173k on a 2.7 spa he's going to be able to basically just run through a lot of stuff and be really 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 good in that regard he's going to this is probably going to be where he's going to shine the best he has a good size circle for how fast his spa is and he's going to be able to do a ton of damage so let's go ahead i maxed out two let's sell the two and let's see how good he can get if we are just using the sixth upgrade the proposed best upgrade so we go here okay and then we go here 2.7 2.7 all around 2.7 SPA. I just want to see if you can take out like a million HP enemy. Uh, definitely should be able to do that. Actually, looking at it, uh, let's find out. Let's let's try five million. One two three. One two three. Let's see how he handles five million HP enemy. Should be able to handle it just fine, I imagine. Look at the speed of the attacks. Oh yeah. Oh, he shredded that. Okay. Let's uh, let's try 30 mil. Let's see where it peaks out at. Let's see shredded that just absolutely shredded it okay 30 mil is actually taking a minute this might be where it peaks um it's just funny how rapid fire this animation is dun, 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 dun. this will let us see exactly where he peaks out how much you can expect him to do oh he might actually kill it okay so basically 30 mil 28 point or 29.8 mil so basically He's able to kill a 30 million HP target um, very on 16k a piece, with there being five of him. Um, this is going to be a really, 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 really good unit for like, just like Yato, like I said, for pushing early waves in any stage. It's going to be a really good starter unit. He's going to solo clear a lot of stuff, and he's really, really damn good. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, check the pinned comment. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.